So a full body skin exam is really important and recommended for individuals with a personal or a family history of skin cancer or people with fair skin or a lot of moles. Have you thought about going to a dermatologist? Does the thought make you nervous, especially as a nudist? Well, join me as I take on the challenge of seeing a dermatologist for the first time as a nudist. Well, let's find out what happens. As someone who embraces the naturist lifestyle, I know how important it is to take care of my skin. Being naked and free in nature is amazing. But it also means I need to be extra mindful of protecting my skin from the elements. That's why I'm excited to share my experience visiting a dermatologist for the first time as a nudist with you. As nudists, we're more exposed to the sun, which means you are at a higher risk of skin damage, premature aging, and even skin cancer. On top of that, we're also more prone to skin irritation and allergic reactions from plants, insects, and other environmental factors. You know, I've, I've had my fair share of bug bites and scratches from, you know, hiking in the outdoors uh, without clothes. It's no wonder that many nudists struggle with finding the right skincare routine that's both effective and gentle on their skin. And let's not forget about the importance of regular sunscreen application, which can be tricky when you're not wearing any clothes. Sunscreen is a must have for any outdoor enthusiast and you will hear me talk about it a lot. But as a nudist, it's especially crucial. It's got to be applied liberally and often, which can be a real challenge when you're trying to enjoy the great outdoors, you know, without the uh, <laughs> clothing restrictions. Huh? Uh, and then there's the issue of skin dryness and irritation, which can be exacerbated by the sun, wind, and water. As a nudist, it's essential to find moisturizers and cleansers that are gentle enough for daily use, but still effective at keeping my skin healthy and happy. Hmm. I sound like a Jergens commercial. <laughs> For my research, I've learned that many nudists struggle with finding dermatologists who are comfortable with their lifestyle. It's not uncommon for nudists to feel judged or stigmatized when seeking medical care, which can make it even harder to address skin issues. That's why I'm excited to share my experience with a dermatologist who's open-minded and non-judgmental. I was hoping to get some valuable advice on how to take care of my skin as a nudist from preventative care uh, to treating specific conditions. One of the most surprising things I learned while researching for this video is that nudists are actually much more likely to detect skin cancers early on. According to a study, nudists are more aware of their bodies and more likely to notice any changes in their skin, which means they're more likely to catch skin cancers in the early stages. That's awesome. I was blown away by that and it just goes to show how important it is for nudists to be proactive about their skin health. I think a lot of nudists might be hesitant to visit a dermatologist because they're worried about being judged or you know, feeling uncomfortable about the lifestyle. These fears are understandable, but I want to assure you that dermatologists are professionals who care about your skin health, not your personal choices. With that said, you don't even have to tell them you're a nudist. They'll give you a comprehensive check, nudist or not, so it's really up to you. Many people might also worry about being lectured or judged about their skincare habits. You know, for example, you have tattoos or piercings. You might think the dermatologist is gonna disapprove or focus too much on those aspects. However, again, dermatologists are there to help you, not to judge your personal choices. They care about your skin health, and that's what matters most. So my experience, well, walking into the dermatologist's office, I felt, you know, a mix of emotions, a little bit, curious, a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious. Uh, the mind runs wild with what is ahead. Mm. But as soon as I sat down and started talking to the dermatologist, all those feelings dissipated. Dr. Spenson was kind, professional, and genuinely interested in helping me. We chatted about my skin concerns and she asked me questions about my lifestyle and habits. She had me undressed to my underwear and put on a medical gown, you know, the ones that's open in the back, you know, yeah. Well, sadly, sadly, mine did not look that good. She used what looked like a chopstick to me to move my hair around and, you know, take a look at my scalp, then methodically move to the rest of my body, moving the gown, you know, as needed for access. Uh, she used a handheld uh, magnifier, you know, for an up-close view of any blemishes she found. I did tell her that my, my derriere was in the sun a good bit, so she took a look there as well. I'd imagine that's really the only difference between a nudist and other patients as far as the examination goes. You only have to ask. Tell her your concerns. And make sure you tell them if there's anything you've noticed, you know, or concerned about on your body. 
The most surprising part of the visit was when the dermatologist found a few moles that needed to be checked further. You know, of course, that's a little embarrassing, but it, it, it's part of, part of life. Uh, I hadn't noticed them, and I was grateful for her keen eye. It was a, a great reminder that even as a nudist, I need to pay attention to my skin and take proactive steps to stay healthy. My dermatologist told me that many of her patients came to her with concerns about skin aging, hyperpigmentation. She said it's essential for nudists to use a broad spectrum sunscreen with high SPF, as well as antioxidants and moisturizers that can help combat the effects of the sun and the environment. I was also surprised to learn that many dermatologists are now offering specialized treatment, such as skin consultations and customized skincare routines. You know, you could get a spa day courtesy of Medicare. I was blown away by how much I learned from my dermatologist visit. As a nudist, it's so important to be proactive about our skin health and seeking professional advice can make all the difference. Whether it's preventative care, treatment for specific conditions, or just general advice on how to take care of our skin, seeing a dermatologist can be a game changer. Looking back on my experience, I realized that visiting a dermatologist as a nudist wasn't as daunting as I thought it would be. In fact, it was incredibly empowering to take control of my skin's health and learn more about how I can improve it. I learned that skin checks are essential no matter who you are or how you choose to live your life. And if you don't want to take on a dedicated dermatologist, you can still get checked. A lot of health fairs will offer free screenings. In fact, I have seen some at nudist resorts during festivals, and that's an awesome way to get looked at all over. Uh, this is not a bad way to make sure there aren't suspicious spots that you should be aware of, uh, though it's nowhere probably as, as thorough as what you would get from a, a professional uh, dermatologist visit. Either way, knowledge is power, and you don't want to have melanoma lurking where you can't see it. So if you're a nudist who's been putting off a dermatologist visit, I encourage you to take the leap, book that appointment, your skin will thank you, and you might be surprised at how liberating it feels to prioritize your health. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any experiences or questions about dermatology or nudism, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you find this sort of information informative or enjoyable, I would like to invite you to like and subscribe. It's free for you, helps the channel greatly. And don't forget to check out my other videos where we'll be exploring more aspects of being all natural. Oh, and don't forget the sunscreen. I'm going to begin through your scalp because as you know, you can even get skin cancers in your scalp. Sure. So I'll just have you turn your head this way. So a full body skin exam is really important and recommended for individuals with a personal or a family history of skin cancer or people with fair skin or a lot of moles. Great. Nothing suspicious hiding there. Great. I'm going to begin on your arm now, dear. Sure. 